The following clips demonstrate the proper use and function of microfuge and tabletop centrifuge devices. The function of these machines is to separate a product, such as cells, from a suspension made of liquids. Centrifugal force results in the cells being pelleted to the bottom of the tube, while the supernatant, or liquid, remains at the top. To prevent rotor damage, all tubes placed inside the device must be counterbalanced with identical tubes of identical contents. This is an Eppendorf microfuge device. As you can see, the time and speed can be adjusted by arrows below. The lid can be opened by pressing the button as shown. The metal lid must be replaced prior to use to avoid damage to the device. Underneath the lid are various slots for small microfuge tubes. A tube may be placed in one of the holes. However, it is important to counterbalance the tube with another tube of similar contents. The tube should be placed directly across. If the rotor is not properly counterbalanced, it can be damaged. Once properly balanced, make sure to replace the metal lid and close the device. After selecting appropriate time and speed, you may start the device. The device will stop on its own at the end of the cycle. This is another example of a microfuge device. Similarly, it has knobs that adjust the time and speed of the centrifugation. A small button in the bottom left opens the lid. This particular rotor has differently sized slots, allowing for tubes of various sizes to be spun at the same time. This does, however, make balancing more difficult, and in this case, the only way to effectively balance the rotor is by using three identical tubes. Notice that there are two spaces between each tube. Once balanced, close the lid, select appropriate time and speed, and press start. This is another microfuge device. As you can see, the speed in RPMs and time in minutes can be adjusted by the arrows. The rabbit and turtle icons signify how fast the rotor will accelerate and decelerate. By selecting the rabbit for both, the rotor will accelerate and decelerate as fast as possible. This button opens the lid. Once open, the plastic safety cap can be removed to reveal the slots for the microfuge tubes. This particular rotor has its slots numbered 1 through 24, making the counterbalancing more simple. For example, slot 4 is directly across from slot 16. Once balanced, replace and close the lids and press start. This is a smaller microfuge device. Once again, the time and speed can be adjusted by the knobs. To open the lid, press down on the red tab. The current rotor is designed for 0.5 milliliter microfuge tubes. Once again, it is important to counterbalance the tubes. Once complete, close the lid and press the speed button to start. This is another microfuge device. As you can see, the speed and time can be adjusted. After unscrewing the safety lid, it is possible to insert tubes into the slots. Once again, they are numbered for easy counterbalancing. Once complete, screw on the safety lid, close the outer lid, and press the start button. Some rotors are also capable of spinning QIA spin prep columns. However, these must also be counterbalanced with identical tubes. In this case, three tubes are needed for proper balancing. 